One of the real joys I have in life is producing ghost peppers. Well, hot peppers of any kind, but especially ghost peppers. But nature doesn't always want to cooperate. In fact, there are forces out there that do everything in their power to make sure these things never make it. So gardeners know it all too well. They come out, they suddenly see holes on leaves they didn't see there before. And I was lucky enough, uh, it didn't happen to my peppers this year, uh, but here it happened to my kale. Down here, uh, it started to happen to my cabbages as well. Caterpillars, moths, my mortal enemy. There was a time in my life when it came time to put pesticides down to get the bugs away. I felt the more chemicals the better. But then when I realized I actually had to eat this stuff, I realized I had to go organic. So I have two, tra uh, two tools of the trade that I use personally to keep the bugs off the peppers. Uh, the first one, and this is the obsessive compulsive disorder part of my personality, is this thing. Uh, I will wake up on the hour if I need to all night long and I'll pick little moth larvae off those leaves uh, one at a time, lift a leaf, find them, pull them off. Lift a leaf, find them, pull them off. And I do it like clockwork. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. It's a sickness. But, but you can't be there all the time. You can't protect them all the time. So what do you do then? This. The best part about this particular product uh, is the active ingredient, uh, which is BT. And if you're wondering what BT stands for, it stands for this. All right then, uh, it is a naturally occurring bacteria. Uh, you put uh, this powder uh, on the leaves, the moth larvae will come up, they'll eat the leaves. So you have to sacrifice your plants, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, but within a couple of hours, that bacteria gets in their stomach, it makes them feel full, they climb back down. The, the bacteria starts to eat away the inside of their body and then they slowly but surely die a slow and miserable death. And I couldn't be happier. The one gripe I'd have about this product, if I was going to complain about something at all, is just how you apply it, because it comes out of here uh, just like baby powder. So uh, you pop the top, there's a applicator here, and then you just turn it over and you're just going to squeeze it onto your plants. And you try and squeeze it all gentle, gentle, gentle. Is it going to come out? Is it going to come out? Truly, is it going to come out? And then eventually, whoo, it pops and suddenly you get way more than what you want. Uh, luckily, you can actually, <laughs> if you're an absolute convert like me, take your time, sprinkle it on every single leaf. Don't get, let those caterpillars have an ounce of satisfaction. So, uh, it, it's a bit of a mess. It's not easy to do the first time, but uh, it does stick to the under the sides of the leaves well. So, did I mention I'm a little bit obsessive about this? But you gotta do it right. Uh, and then you just got a big old BT mess at the end. But you can't lose your peppers, or kale in this case. I was able to buy this uh, for about, I think it was about seven or eight dollars, which uh, for the size of it, it's maybe not the cheapest thing, but any of the organic products aren't. Uh, but actually, I, I used it all of last year. I was able to use it this year. Seemed, seemed to work just fine. Um, it breaks down quickly in the water, it breaks down in heat, so uh, it has a very short lifespan. Uh, I think it's 24 or 48 hours, uh, but usually by that time the caterpillars, uh, they've eaten what they needed to and they're on their way out of here. So I think last year I had to apply it a couple times before I got rid of them, but between this, whoops, <laughs> between this and the tweezers, I was able to get them and actually saved maybe 15 plants uh, from what would have been utter destruction.